Today I'm gonna to share with you my top 10 fragrances for fall for women. So if you wanna hear what they are, keep it here. Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Tiff. Thank you for being here with me today. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tiff and I help people find fragrances that they love. If this is your first time here, make sure that you subscribe, turn on your notifications, and also I'd like to invite you to join a community of fragrance lovers from around the world. You can do so by requesting an invitation to my private group online, The Fragrance Society. We'd love to have you there. Right now I have a 50k subscriber goal set for this channel, so help me get there by sharing this video with your friends and giving the video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. So let's get into the video. Leave a comment below and let me know what fragrance you'll be wearing this fall. I'm gonna share with you 10 of mine and also don't forget to watch all the way to the end of the video because today I'm doing a giveaway. Let's get started. Number 10 on my list is Gucci Bloom. Now I've been trying this fragrance out for a couple of weeks now. This is brand new to the market and I actually really like it. It's a beautiful floral scent that is so well done. It's composed of jasmine, tuberose, and rangoon creeper and it's perfect for daytime or nighttime and I could definitely see this being someone's signature scent. Coming in at number nine is Bath Delicios by Dior. Now this is a beautiful, sweet gourmand scent. It came to the market in 2015, so we've got two years on this one, and it's composed by Francois Damaki, who has made a ton of fragrances that we know and love for the Dior line. One of my favorites is Dior Addict. This one is sweet, sophisticated, and exquisite. It's composed of Venezuelan tonka bean, which I happen to love tonka bean in a fragrance. It really grounds it in this earthy creaminess, which I adore. This is certainly one to try if you're a gourmand lover and you're looking to add something sweet to your collection. If you're on a budget, Dior Poison Girl is a really nice alternative to this one. They're composed by the same perfumer and they have similar notes. So this one is more price friendly if that's something that you're curious about. Coming in at number eight is Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. Now this one is geared towards men, but do not let that deter you ladies. This one is just for you. It was created in 2015 by Sonia Constant. She's the perfumer behind this fragrance. And I have to say, I adore it. This is something that wears very close to the skin, so be careful with it. It's perfect for a night out or close encounters, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Spicy and sensual, you just cannot go wrong with this one. Coming in in the number seven spot is Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. Now this is an oldie but goodie. It's a fruity floral, but I feel like it's modern and bewitching. It has notes of jasmine, rose, tuberose, plum, and it's a fruity floral that's sweet but not too sweet. And it's a floral fragrance that's very charming and adult-like. So when I wear this fragrance, it has tropical nuances to it that I appreciate, and it's perfect for an Indian summer fall fragrance. Number six on my list is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl and I have it right here and if you can see that, that is some killer shoe now isn't it? This fragrance is a gem. It is feminine, it's glamorous, it has notes of almond, coffee, tuberose, jasmine and I'm sure you're noticing a trend here. Uh, there's something about jasmine and tuberose that I really like in a fragrance but I have to say that it's such an odd fragrance because it has this almond and coffee note. It also has this florally essence to it and I really enjoy it. From start to finish, it is beautiful and that vanilla dry down makes it full bottle worthy. So now we're down to the top five on this countdown and these are fragrances that I would consider must haves in your fall fragrance collection. So let's get into number five. Coming in at number five is La Yucawam Pour Homme by the House of Versace. So we know this one in the fragrance community and I have to say I like it. I actually love it. It would be considered a clone to 
Tuscan Leather by Tom Ford. However, it's super wearable and sweeter and fruitier and sexier. It has a dark edginess to it. So if you're a fan of wearing all black or putting on that leather jacket of yours, you might want to add this fragrance to your collection. It projects to the heavens and you will get compliments on this one. I highly suggest this one even over the Tom Ford. Love you, Tom. But again, for the price point and the smell, the longevity, the performance of this fragrance, it's overall really worth it. Coming in in the number four spot is Blamage from the House of Nasamato. This fragrance is beautiful and somehow I feel like it's been overlooked. It's perfect for a night out and once that cool weather hits this fragrance in the air, ugh, you're gonna faint. <laughs> the notes aren't listed but I get plenty of leather and peach and what a combination that is. Coming in in the number three spot is Gabrielle Chanel. Now everyone needs a Chanel in their fragrance wardrobe, I'm just saying. This one is very new to the market and I've been testing it because I purchased it over a month ago and I have to say I've been loving it. This is a very sheer ethereal fragrance from Chanel and that is not what the house of Chanel normally does, which is why I actually like this one. It's refreshingly light and I really enjoy wearing it. I mean, let's be for real. Can you ever go wrong with Chanel? Coming in in the number two spot is a fragrance that I've just, you know what? I'm weak. This fragrance makes me weak. It is from the House of Siage and it's called Cherry Garden. So Cherry Garden is a beautiful, beautiful gourmand oriental fragrance. It has notes of almonds, vanilla, musk. It is so freaking gorgeous. It is a compliment getter and I definitely see it as being unisex. Men can wear it as well. First of all, let's have a moment for the presentation of this scent because it is glorious. Beautifully done. Amazing presentation. Will look so decadent sitting on top of a dresser or an armoire. It's my plan to make this one my fall signature because I've been stocking it for a while and I'm just, I'm all in. So last, but certainly not least, coming in in the number one spot on my top 10 fall fragrances for women is Byretto's Gypsy Water. Oh. I, if I could drop my mic right now, I totally would. It is so unique and is so perfect for the fall. Juniper berries, bergamot, lemon, incense, vanilla, there's amber in there, pine needles. I really love the dry down in this one as well and it is somewhat reminiscent of gold by Commodity. Just the dry down. But the opening of this from start to finish, it is just like magic. This wears well when it comes to longevity but when it comes to projection it definitely wears light so I would suggest layering it. Now the House of Byredo has got you covered. They've got the lotion, they've got the kabuki brush, they've got the hair perfume, all of which I'll be buying for myself even though I keep my hair tied up. <laughs> it is the perfect, perfect fall scent and I know I'll be enjoying it this fall. So there you have it. Let's talk. Let me know down in the comment box below what fragrance you'll be wearing this fall. And I'll be doing a giveaway today, so make sure that you check the description box to check on the details of the giveaway. I'll be giving away some of the fragrances that I have available from my top 10 list. 
Because I love you so much, I composed a quick reference catalog so that you can know all the fragrances that I mentioned here in the video. Just in case you want to go out and buy them, if you love this channel and you want to support it, make sure that you buy them here. So once again, make sure to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you for being here. I hope you're having a blessed day out there and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.